Okay, next we have uh, Jeff Pleiss presenting GPyTorch, a black box matrix matrix Gaussian process inference with GPU acceleration. Hello, my name is Jeff Pleiss, and I will be talking about GPyTorch and black box matrix matrix Gaussian process inference. This is joint work with my collaborators, Jake McGardner, David Bindel, Killian Weinberger, and Andrew Wilson at Cornell. So before I talk about Gaussian processes, I want to talk about deep learning and why it's so awesome to train neural networks today. Neural networks are really fast. They make really efficient use of modern computing hardware like GPUs, and this is especially true because a lot of the operations with neural networks essentially uh, boil down to matrix multiplication, which is really efficient in parallel. Neural networks are really modular. When you're constructing a module, or sorry, when you're constructing a model, you're typically composing layers together in a building block style pattern. Typically adding a layer takes a line of code. And the community has released a number of really awesome open source libraries that are really easy to use. And these three features make it really easy to rapidly prototype neural networks, and this is probably one of the reasons we see so much innovation in the field today. So now let's talk about Gaussian processes. GPs are fantastic models. They have a number of really compelling properties that make them very powerful. Unfortunately, being able to rapidly prototype with them isn't necessarily one of them. GPs can be a little bit slow. Um, even though there's been a lot of really awesome recent work that has scaled GPs up to really large data sets, when performing inference, you typically have to uh, perform these really expensive operations on kernel matrices, such as log determinants and matrix solves. Uh, typically, you would use the Cholesky factorization of these kernel matrices uh, to compute these terms, and that's not an operation that can be efficiently parallelized on GPUs, so you don't really get the huge advantage of modern hardware. In addition, let's say you want to change your GP model by adding a multiple output or maybe by using a scalable approximation. This could result in changing the entire inference scheme that you're using. You may have to rederive a whole new set of equations, and a small change in your model doesn't necessarily correspond to a small change in code. Typically, it corresponds to a large change in your code. So you don't have the same building block style pattern that you have with neural networks, and this makes it harder to rapid prototype. So that's what we set out to change in this paper. We want to make uh, building Gaussian process models as fast and simple and easy as building deep learning models. And to accomplish this, my collaborators and I developed a new approach to Gaussian process inference, which we call black box matrix matrix inference. This builds upon a lot of prior work that shows that a lot of the terms you need for Gaussian process inference can be derived through routines that use matrix vector multiplication with the kernel matrices. What we do in this paper is we introduce a modified version of the conjugate gradients algorithm that works in batch and computes all the terms you need for Gaussian process inference in parallel through some matrix matrix multiplication routines with the kernel matrix. In addition, we introduce a novel preconditioner that's specifically designed for kernel matrices to rapidly accelerate the convergence of conjugate gradients. And in practice, what this means is computing the marginal log likelihood of a Gaussian process typically takes about 20 matrix multiplication calls with the kernel matrix. And this is really awesome for GPUs because matrix multiplication is probably one of the most uh, GPU accelerated routines. There's another key advantage of this framework. So this can be easily extended to a lot of the more complex GP models that I was talking about simply by changing the matrix multiplication routine that you use with conjugate gradients. Scalable GP methods, multi-output GPs, and a lot of other models can be implemented simply by using a matrix multiplication routine that takes advantage of the structure that you have in the kernel. And this makes things really easy to implement, and it also is still fairly fast. Um, this doesn't actually sacrifice any speed from any of these specialty inference algorithms, and it even reduces the computational complexity of the exact GPs to quadratic. We wrap this all up in an open source library, which we call GPyTorch, which is built on top of the PyTorch uh, deep learning framework. And hopefully this video works, but I want to give you a demonstration of just how fast this is. On the left, we have an uh, exact Gaussian process training on 10,000 data points, and it does that in just a little bit over two seconds 
using BBMM and GPyTorch on a GPU. On the right, we have standard inference, which is also GPU accelerated, but what we find is that takes about 10 times as long. And we see similar speed ups for a variety of these other GP models. So to summarize, if I can get to the, my final slide here, there we go. Um, we're really excited about this because we think this is going to make it a lot easier and faster to play with uh, GP models. Uh, uh, see us at poster 13 or check out GPyTorch if you want to explore. Thank you. Okay, so that concludes this uh, entire session. So go enjoy the posters. We, had, we saw a lot of spotlights, so go check out those posters and enjoy your evening. Mm -hmm.